Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates out in the city of Detroit, a place known for two things, rapping with your daughters and crapping in the water. Today we are here with Dusty Bottoms. Commander Brown. Commander Brown. Tell us what system of self-defense you do. Urban Survival Tactics from Detroit. What are you gonna be showing us today? Today we're gonna to be showing you Urban Survival Tactics. Can you be more specific? You're gonna be learning today gun disarms that work in the real world. You'll be able to disarm guns and knives from our training system today. All right, so we're gonna see his uh, dusty bullshit, and then you will see why they call me the dust devil. Because he's a devil. He's the devil of self-defense. Gonna get dusted. Devil, devil's advocate. Another one bites the dust. I was gonna use that at the end of the video. That's blown. You got dusted. Doesn't matter, it's an old song. No one will remember it anyway. But it's from Detroit. Queen is from Detroit? Negative. This queen is from Detroit. <laughs> Commander Brown, Detroit Urban Survival Training. Today we're gonna to demonstrate to you how to disarm a pistol if a violent criminal tries putting your face and they're gonna shoot you if you move. Again, in this direction. In both situations you see that the gun is fired once my head is moved because he tried to shoot, but when you move your head, it takes you two thousandths of a second to respond to that motion. Only one thousandth of a second to move your head. That means no matter what, they're always gonna miss you. That's how you increase your survivability. When someone points a gun at you, you make sure you move what's in front of the gun first. When they see that, they're gonna fire. You're gonna step off, push the gun up, pull the back, and then you have the weapon. And that will increase your survivability. All right, after watching that demonstration, I have two things to say. Number one, I understand why he is called dust, because that technique is so old it has dust on it. Number two, I'm surprised he doesn't play for a certain professional football team here in town, because when it comes to self-defense, he's lying. There's an old saying that a gun can't fire when it is out of battery. A lot of people think what that means is when he points the gun, if the slide is pushed back, firing pin can't hit the bullet, bullet can't fire. What it actually means is that guns used to run on batteries, okay? Old-fashioned guns ran on batteries. So if they were out of battery, that means they had no power, means they couldn't fire. Newer guns run on gun oil. That's why you're always seeing ads for making sure you have plenty of oil in your gun. So what we need to do first is dry out the firearm. A dry gun is a safe gun, okay? So if he's pointing the weapon at me, First thing I want to do is just dry out the gun. Now it shouldn't be able to fire. Second thing is that you don't want to move too quickly when it's time to defend yourself from someone who is pointing a weapon at you, okay? So, the key is for him not to see me move. That doesn't mean I move really fast. It means I need to move so slow that he never sees it coming. See that? It's a close one. But the bullet would have just grazed my uniform. Okay, that's another reason why I also make sure to wear clothes when I'm attacked with a gun. That's good to have a barrier between you and the bullet. Call it a bullet barrier. Bullets slow down as they come out of the barrel. Okay, so if it's a dry gun and the bullet does fire, what I'm gonna do is a technique I call biting the bullet. I'm gonna catch the bullet in my teeth and redirect it, okay? So as he fires, okay, catching the bullet, turning, as I get closer to him, bullet comes out right to the temple. Then as always, restomp that groin. 
All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I want to thank Dirty Dale for coming in and being on the show. Commander Brown. Right. And so if people want to find out more about you, they can... Go to Detroit Urban Survival Training online and look us up. And I'm Master Ken reminding you that all we are is dust in the wind. That's all he is because he got dusted today. It's an uh, existential kind of, once we all die, we rot into dust and then blow away. That's him, blown away. I didn't get blown away. I redirected a bullet into his friend. He was defeated in private. On the internet. It's not in private. Ken's privates. Now he's talking about my privates. I have that on tape. Because he got dusted. Tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Us. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.